Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Math Time with Mrs. Itis. Today, we're going to do a page from the packet that says, Work for Mrs. Itis Lessons. We're going to go ahead and turn the page, and we're going to take a look at Mitten Math. It's a nice idea to review the skills that we know that we've learned before winter break. So today we are going to count the mittens of each design and we're going to graph them. We're going to find how many of each and compare the numbers. Do you remember how we used more and less and equal, greater and fewer? Let's go ahead and begin. When I think of winter, I think about cold weather and I think about putting on some mittens. Let's go ahead and write our name at the tippy top. I'm using my flare pen so you can see better on the video, but you can use your pencil. Go ahead and write your name, uppercase and lowercase letters. Do you remember? That's right. And let's go ahead and get our crayons ready and look at the designs of the mittens. Now I see three different kinds of designs. Mittens with polka dots, plain mittens, and mittens with stripes. So let's pick a color. You can pick any color you like for the mitten with polka dots. I think I'm going to use purple. I'm going to use some cool colors. Cool colors are greens, blues, and purples that remind me of the winter cool weather. So that's why they are called cool colors. So I'm going to choose purple for my polka dot mitten. Now you can choose any color you like. You can choose purple like me too. But the key is if I start using one color on one type of mitten, I have to use that same color for that same type of mitten. So let's begin. We need to find how many polka dot mittens. So let's go ahead and create our key. My polka dot mitten is going to be purple. So I'm going to put that in the key and in the graph so I can remember. Now let's take a look here at the clothesline. The little bird is helping us to find the mittens of each design. Here's a polka dot mitten. So I'm going to go ahead and color this mitten. I'm sorting, I'm sorting by design today. Let's see, are there any other polka dot mittens? Right here, here's another polka dot mitten. Go ahead and color that in. Do your best wow colors. Coloring is so good, it helps us to strengthen our fine motor skills so we can learn how to write and cut even better. And then let's take a look. Oh, here's another polka dot mitten. So how many polka dot mittens did we find, friends, on the clothesline? One, two, three. So how many boxes here on my graph do you think I need to color in? That's right, one, two, three. Three boxes for three polka dot mittens. So I'm going to go ahead and color one box. I'm going to try to make the edges nice and wow colored. Two boxes and now three boxes. And I have to stop there because there were only three of the polka dotted mittens. So now with your pencil, go ahead and write three for three polka dot mittens. The next mitten we need to find are the plain mittens. I'm going to choose this blue-green turquoise color. That's another cool color that reminds me of winter. Remember, you can choose your own color, but whatever you do, you have to keep them all the same. The plain mitten will be the same color throughout. Let's go ahead and find the plain mittens on the clothesline. Well, here's one at the top. So let's go ahead and color that in. Try your best to make wow colors. That's one. Oh, I see another. Here's number two. Remember, if the videos go too quickly, friends, you know you can always push pause and then push play. 
when you've caught up. There's two plain mittens. Oh my goodness, there are so many on this bottom line. Here's the third mitten. Wow. And I see another. One, two, three, four. Four plain mittens. Very nice, color them all in. Beautiful job, friends. One, two, three, four, and one more. Five, five plain mittens. Wow, that's a lot of plain mittens. Five, so if I have one, two, three, four, five mittens on the clothesline, then how many boxes should I color? That's right, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's all of the boxes in the graph. So let's go ahead and start here at number one. One box, two boxes, three boxes, four boxes, and five. Five boxes for five mittens. Oh, I think we can compare already something. How many more plain mittens were there than polka dot mittens? How many more? One and one match, two and two match, three and three match. I would need two more polka dot mittens to be equal to the plain blue mittens. And we said there are one, two, three, four, five. So let's go ahead and write the number five. Is three greater than or less than five? That's right, three is less than five. Five is greater than three. Great job, friends. Let's go ahead and continue. I think I'm going to use a light green. That's another cool color for winter. So the little mitten with lines and dashes, I will color in with my light green. Again, you can choose any color you like. Just make sure that they all match. Let's go ahead and look at our clothesline and see how many mittens have lines and dashes. Oh, I see one here at the top. That's one mitten. Great job. Do a nice wow color. And I see one more. Two mittens with lines and dashes. There we go. Okay. Two mittens with lines and dashes. Let's go ahead and label the two. And then if I have two mittens on the clothesline, I know I have to color in two boxes on the graph. Remember, always start with box number one. One box and two boxes. There it is. One and two. Wow, friends, what can we say now about the mittens with lines and dashes? Is this showing the greatest amount of mittens or the least, the fewest amount of mittens? That's right. The green ones that I colored with lines and dashes are the fewest design of mittens we see in our picture. So I can say, Five is greater than three and two. Then I can also compare my polka dot and line mittens. Three, one, two, three, is greater than two, one, two. How many more polka dot mittens would I need here to match green mittens? I would need one more with lines to match polka dots to be equal. Let's compare the plain and the line mittens. How many more line mittens would I need to be equal to the plain mittens? One and one, two and two. I would need 
one, two, three more to be equal. Well, friends, I sure had fun doing some mitten math with you. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thanks for coming to Math Time with Mrs. Itis. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, friends.